My name is Rita Keller and I am an Iyengar Yoga teacher. First of all, the question you ask is how to deal with diseases or disturbances like exhaustion, fatigue, chronic fatigue, uh, post-COVID um, symptoms. And um, of course there are many things we could list here. But the first thing of course is again here when we come back to uh, the nature. So what are the disturbances? and which elements have been disturbed. And then we have to see, aha, so sometimes it's the nervous system, we have to see nervous system and then fire is the element there, but then how to balance the fire. Fire you can balance with earth element. You give grounding things. You give something that stabilizes again the nervous system. And then when you see like some symptoms of chronic fatigue, so you see, chronic fatigue, it's loss of prana, it's loss of energy. The loss of energy, of course, you can again compensate by, in a passive way, more passive active way than active way, like to help in the beginning with passive asanas, passive postures to invite prana. And this is something where you have to really study the elements very well because if the top area is blocked and there is nothing and the body is already like here, how to open up gently, how to invite breath, how to invite prana, the vital energy, and then to vitalize and revitalize the body. And this is an art, we say. It's an art. We cannot just give a prescription and say do, 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 and this asana, this asana, this, this. No. You have to see the body. You have to see the body. And I can give, of course, I say, in a gentle, in a gentle way, I can say, yes, this is a general way you can do, but I have to really take care that I'm gentle enough and soft enough so that they really find an access to themselves, how to help. Yeah. This um, probably, you know, I did a couple of um, free YouTube videos on these subjects, yeah, possibly you know this. So and uh, and I'm also these um, these videos are made up in a way that it is gentle enough, soft enough, apprehensible enough. 